So I'm going to stand, try to stand still and do this. You know I roam, so we're going to see how this works. Um, those last few words sound very familiar, right? We sing them quite often. We're going to sing them at the end of the service today. That whole, um, you shall go out with joy, right? But you shall be led back with peace. Peace is something that we seem not to have a whole lot of in our lives, um, especially it seems like in the, oh, let's say the last couple decades. It just seems like everything is in turmoil. Now, some have all these reasons for that to happen. You know, the change in society, the change in, um, in media, the change in our social media, the way that we interact in ways that we never did before, and the th way that things change so very fast that our minds and our bodies just can't seem to keep up with it. Think about our longevity just in the last, in my lifetime. So I'm just going to say 50 years, and that's close enough. Um, but in 50-some years, think about the difference in longevity. I mean, my grandmother, we thought she lived a long, healthy life, and she was 70, and now at 70, we're going, we got 20 more years to go, right? So that has all changed, and, and um, we have become more active longer. We have changed the way that, uh, that we interact with our family, that we interact with our community, with, that we interact with our church. And all of those things have brought us to a place of being unsettled, right? There's a lot of things that just unsettle us all week long. And then we come to church for that hour or today, a little less, just those, those times when we just, I just need some peace. And we, we're like, well, that wasn't long enough. And I really don't think I had the peace that I was looking for. Um, I feel a little better, but I need something more. And we, we just can't figure it out. But... Um, but maybe those ancient ones uh, knew a little more than we did. Because we call on the name of God much as they did, um, with so much fervor and so much um, want, right? And, and they did the same, but yet they found the name of God, Yahweh as they called him, and I can't spit enough to say it the right way, I just don't have that ability, but if you hear a jerk, a Jewish person say that name, it even sounds more sacred. You know, it's like it comes from the very being of them when they say Yahweh. And it's not, if, if you look at it uh, spelled as they would have spelled it, there are no vowels. They felt that there were some things that were just too sacred to say out loud. And part of that was to say that name with, um, with anything but reverence, with anything but um, a knowing that God had things for us that we cannot imagine. Now, did they doubt as we did? I would say yes. I think we can see that in our writings when, when we say, oh, God, how long? When we see it in, in the writings of what next? You know, how can you keep... How, how can I keep surviving in the midst of this? And, and the word from God continues to be, hold on, I am here with you. With you, remember? And, and we get that in Messiah, God with you. Um, but even then, God is saying, I am with you. And he says, so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth. It shall not return to me empty, but it shall accomplish that which I purpose and succeed in the thing for which I sent. And if we check back in Psalms, we can, we can look back there, and there's a, there's a verse that helps us understand what this means. This God, his way is perfect. The promise of the Lord proves true. He is a shield for all who take refuge in him. Now we've talked the last few weeks, um, as we finish up the Old Testament with our Bible year, this is the last reading that we will do in the Bible year. And so as we, as, as, uh, during worship, and so we, um, as we do that, we remember that we've read these words, and as we've spoken about refuge, thought about what refuge really means, right? That place of shelter, that place where we can find the depth of peace that we are looking for. And, and too often, we think we can only find that in this moment, right? In that moment when we gather and we worship together. 
but that's just the seed. Our true peace comes from living with that peace throughout the work, continuing to dig through all the muck of our everyday to come to that sacred space where we feel God's presence so boldly and so fully that we even have trouble saying his name because we are so overcome with our love and our joy in that God that brings us into the times of peace. God wants more for us than we can imagine. That might be a prosperity gospel. It might be the prosperity of a peace that we don't even know exists. The peace that we continue to search for. Now, there's a little trick to finding this peace. And I'm here to tell you what that is. Keep it, don't keep it to yourself, spread it to your friends. We have to keep trying. We have to keep trying every single today. Not just today, not just tomorrow, but every single day to live into this bountiful peace that God provides for us. To be able to come to that place where even in the midst of change faster than our minds can handle it and communications that make no sense to us, we find our peace in that God that is God and was God and will always be God. So sacred that the name brings us to the place where we cannot utter it. God has more for us than we can imagine. To go out in peace. To go out in peace. Not just inside. To go out and away from ourselves in peace. How are we finding that peace in our lives? How are we digging in so that we can live that peace, not just during a service of worship, but in our everyday?